Hey, mini me. Or maybe maxi me. Anyways, so how did I get this model printed on my 3D printer? Well, we have to go a little few weeks back when I was at 3D Printopia. So let's dive right in. Oh my gosh, I got scanned in 3D. That is so amazing. It's, I mean, if you think about it, usually when people are getting scanned, it will take a long time. But now in this case, they count down. It's over before you know it. It's so cool. This, check this out. This, this is amazing. So this is um, Demetrius, Shrunk 3D. And what do you do? We are a mobile 3D printing studio. Essentially, we can make any image of you or your loved ones at any time. And you just step in the trailer, we get a photo of you. It takes 95 cameras inside, take 190 images that we stitch together and create a mesh for you. And within three to four weeks, you get a little statue of yourself delivered in a box in the mail. Wow. But how does it work? How does it work? Uh, are we talking about our process right in here? Yeah. How does it work? Okay. So our process in here, you strike a pose. You walk in, you strike a pose. We give you a countdown. You freeze in your position. And all the cameras will snap that photo in one second. And that's basically it. It's very simple. Never made it more easy for somebody to get a replica model of themselves. That is so cool. So how many seconds does it take? It literally, the, with the countdown and the snap of the photo, less than five seconds. Hey, freeze, three, two, one. And we're done. That is really fast. Yes. This is a mobile, so it would mean that you can go everywhere within a certain range or go anywhere within the US, of course. We have, we have up to about 50 franchises right now in different cities across the country. We're based in Delaware. We cover a lot of areas within two to three hours from us. Uh, and so we can, depending on each franchisee, and how far they want to travel, we can pretty much go anywhere. That is cool. How long does it take to set this mobile thing up? It's about one hour from start to finish. So we're probably, with an extra helper, takes us about an hour. If I do it by myself, it's about an hour and a half. How big can a group be? We can do up to two and a half people. And by half, we typically mean a child about hip height. So two full adults and then one child is typically the max we could do. And we don't want to skew away from the quality of the print. So the more people in there, the less we are able to pick up the 365 degrees of each individual. But with two and a half people, we get a sufficient data so that we can make the statues as accurately as possible. And how does the process go afterwards, after the scan is done? After the scan's done, we send all of our uh, photos, we send them over to our design team. The design team will take all 190 images and they will stitch them all together and they create the mesh for the 3D printer to print and then eventually send to our customers. What are the, the prices uh, of those kind of scans? So today's event is special. So we are doing stuff because everybody here pretty much either owns a 3D printer on, of their own or they are able to manage the files. So we are offering them $30 for just the photo files uh, or $60. We will actually design the mesh for them and they can actually print it on their own printers. But uh, from these samples that you see here in front of us, they can range anywhere from $90 all the way up to $300. Also depending on the group size or? Yeah, every additional person is basically multiplying the price a little bit less, probably about 10 to 15% less once you add the second person in the picture. Which kind of vocations uh, are people using to do the, these kind of scans? The biggest event right now is, uh, is Comic Cons where people are cosplaying and people spend a long, a long time throughout the year building their costumes for these events and 
you know, it's a it's the ability to capture all of your hard work that you've spent lots of time and lots of money creating. Now you have a little statue of yourself for all your hard work. Kind of kind of funny that you say a statue of yourself, but who tells that it is you actually? Yeah, that's true. I guess uh, well, you you'll be the only one that knows that it is you. But at the end of the day, you can do it with or without the costume. So it really depends on on how you want to do it. Are there some limitations? What isn't really scannable, or is everything scannable? Well, there is sizing-wise. You want to probably stick to uh, very simple props. You don't want to have uh, things that are very frail that can break easily. For example, a sword, things of that we can do, but they will be a little bit thicker than what you would think, just so the, for the durability and the print process. Um, we, we tend to try to have any baseball bats or hockey sticks or anything that will actually be touching points of your body to secure the product so within the shipping process or if you drop it by accident they're not breaking on you so so there's there's limitations but they're not it's more so rules of how we would pose you in the in the picture so that your product is sturdy and durable for a long period of time and so if if people want to have a normal uh, statue like this which kind of material is is being used it is a powder product that is a color print, it's printed with the color already, so they are not painted afterwards. So they are very sturdy. You know, they're solid products and made to last a very long time. So what are the normal prices of a statue like this or uh, like here, the bottle this one kind of thing? Our little uh, wine drinker over here, she probably costs about $150. Including scanning and also yes. the model. Yep. There are different sizes, so meaning the small size is less expense or less costing than a bigger size. Correct. What is the biggest size you can do? Nine inch is the biggest size that we could do right now. Three inch would be the smallest and nine inch would be the largest. Okay, that sounds really cool. Yep. So, um, can we go through the process? Of Absolutely, the let's do it. All right, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna sit right in the middle of our atomic symbol here, our shrunk 3D symbol. We're gonna look straight ahead, right around this area. And I'm gonna give you a countdown. I'm gonna say freeze. It'll take three seconds, countdown, and boom, we'll be done. Are we ready? Yep. All right, freeze, three, two, one. And we're done. Cool. And look at the screen right here, all the images. We just printed a hundred, or we just got a hundred and ninety images in one second from all directions. Cool. That's it. That was so fast. Are you happy with your picture? You want to do it again? Yeah. If, if that is, we don't oh my gosh, I got scanned in 3D. That is so amazing. I almost finished the whole video and what do you know? Shrunk 3D sent me the 3MF file and here it is. Yeah, I, I had to print it, you know. I was like, you know, why wait another video when I can also post it right now? So I hopped directly in Orca Slicer. I put a little plate underneath with also the logo Z3P. I know it is the older logo, but anyways, 
here is the complete file i uh, made sure that the feed was also attached to it and it is looking all amazing check this out a copy of me i have printed it on the creality and the 3v3 plus with the polymaker polyterra red lava red it is looking fabulous i do have hair but the thinner hairs the camera just deleted or maybe the guys deleted that anyways it is looking amazing i am going to do a little bit more with this model in the future so if you are not subscribed subscribe if you like this video hey hit the like button it's i mean if you think about it usually when people are getting scanned it will take a long time but now in this case they count down like he said and it is going so quickly it's over before you know it check this out this this is amazing